Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Wang Xiaohui for China.org.cn. The 13th G20 Summit is being held in Buenos Aires, capital of Argentina, from November 30 to December 1st. The first time for a South American country to host it. Over the past decade, the G20 Summit has developed from an emergency mechanism to cope with financial crisis to an important platform for global governance, especially in the financial and economic sectors. The countries involved coordinate with each other in making macroeconomic and financial policies and heading off protectionism in trade and investment. As the world's second largest economy, the largest trader in goods, and one of the fastest growing economies in the world, China is playing an important role for the effective functioning of the G20. At the G20 summit held in Hangzhou, China, in 2016, China proposed building an innovative, integrated, interconnected, and inclusive world economy. And contributed Chinese concepts and wisdom to the world's sustainable development. The G20 summits over the past decade have shared interrelated themes, promoting balanced and sustainable growth of the world economy. With the host country proposing specific subjects for each summit according to the practical situations, Argentina has proposed three themes: employment. Infrastructure construction for economic growth and the sustainable development of the green industry. There are some new circumstances arising in the current international economic situation. In some countries, particularly some developed countries, trends towards populism, unilateralism, and anti-globalization have emerged. The United Kingdom and the European Union have been embroiled. In seemingly endless negotiations known as the Brexit, the United States and the EU have not resolved their trade disputes through repeated rounds of negotiations. The U.S. has provoked trade conflicts with China. Due to divergence on some important issues related to trade and investment, the APEC summit in Papua New Guinea failed to produce a joint declaration, and so on. The G20 summit. Is an arena for the struggle between multilateralism and unilateralism, as well as international cooperation and protectionism. It thus attracts wide attention. On the sidelines of the summit, President Xi Jinping will meet with American President Donald Trump. It is already a habit for the leaders of China and the U.S. to take the opportunity of an international conference to hold a meeting. However, this year is different. As trade frictions are seriously affecting Sino-American ties, during a phone call in early November, the two leaders expressed their common wish of maintaining stable and healthy development of bilateral relations and expanding their economic and trade cooperation. We hope their meeting this time can deliver positive results. Thank you for watching.